Hey there guys and welcome back to Dementia Care Source. Today we are going to be going over some more ideas of how to love someone with dementia from far away. These are some ideas of things that you can just drop off or send in the mail to your loved one with dementia that are really going to make a big difference to them. Today is all about boredom busters. So all of us get bored and just thinking of myself, I'm very mobile. I can get up and do things. I have the internet. I have friends that I can call and family that I can talk to, video games I can play. But for our friends and family with dementia, sometimes being in a facility or just being at home and not knowing a whole bunch of what to do other than watch TV, these are some great ideas for how to have good interactions with them and activities that will just keep them a little more active. So our first boredom buster today is probably my favorite but also my downfall and that is snacks. Now disclaimer, as an SLP, as a speech language pathologist, I also work with people that have trouble swallowing and just knowing that a lot of our elderly population, they have a lot going on. They might also be diabetic or they need to be watching different things about their diet or having their food pureed or thickened or whatever. So always call ahead to the facility and make sure whatever you're sending or dropping off is going to be an okay thing for this person to have and it's not going to be going against any medical advice. Another boredom buster are the dot to dots and word searches. Make sure these are large print and that you're also sending some writing utensil as well. For someone whose dementia is a little more advanced, you can make it easier by sending in some homemade fill in the blank or sentence completion worksheets. You also don't have to make these. You can find them pretty easily online. Another activity that I really love are any kind of find it games because it works on scanning and attention and it's just a good language builder for someone no matter what their age. This can come in many forms, a whole array of complexities thinking about I spy or where's Waldo. For the find it games you can of course buy them online pre-made or you can actually make it yourself. Before, I've just taken a mason jar and I've put in, you want mostly one texture, so whether it's beads or beans or rice or whatever, something that looks the same, and then put in things you have laying around your house, a Barbie shoe, a paper clip, a thumbtack, a hair barrette, whatever, 10 to 20, maybe even 30 items, and then have a list of what special items are in that find it jar and then they can sit there and rotate and try and find all the items and it's really neat when they even share it with a friend and work on it together with a peer. Something else that is super easy to send their way is a magazine if they still enjoy even if they don't want to read the magazine just flipping through it looking at the pictures again just a great language activity for them. You can also take their favorite magazine, mine would be Better Homes and Gardens, and cut out some of those pictures that are really beautiful and make a collage and send the collage in the mail to them. For someone in later stage dementia, the goal of an activity would be simply holding their attention. And that could be done by something like a scrapbook, but a very simple one, having just one picture and a label underneath, large print, bold colors, a sensory book. You can find these online, make one yourself, and even stamps. So if you get different kinds of stamps and ink, that is just something that's really nice to have that pressure and you are able to see the result of your work. So thank you guys so much for watching. We so appreciate you being here. I would love to hear the ideas that you guys have for how to break up the monotony caring for someone with dementia. So please comment below and like and follow us on Facebook and YouTube at Dementia Care Source. Thanks so much, guys.